Hi to all, welcome to my channel. Today I will explain about ionization gauge which will find low vacuum pressure and ultra high vacuum pressure. So we can write UHV also for ultra high vacuum pressure. Before seeing how this is working, so first I will tell what is the necessity of these vacuum pressures. Let us see. The necessity of this low vacuum is we are creating this vacuum pressure in the coating industries, metallic coatings and metallic or alloy surfaces. So this environment we are creating. For ultra high vacuum pressure means it is 10 power minus 7 Newton per meter square. Okay. So here what is ionization? I took in one example, I took one atom. As we know for atom at the center, protons and neutrons will be there. Protons are positively charged, neutrons are no charge this are neutral and around the center electrons are rotating in the orbits okay so here number of electrons equal to number of protons number of protons is equal to number of electrons the meaning is whatever positive charge is there is equal to negative charge at that time only this atom is in neutral position okay so let us assume i am taking number of electrons phi negative charge protons same p is equal to e phi positive charge now here I am giving some energy some electron is striking this atom it is divided into two parts okay so whatever electrons are there in the outer orbit those are coming here these electrons are called free electrons these electrons are coming from the atom that's why we are calling free electrons okay and whatever atom is there so negative charge is coming here so obviously this should be positive now this atom is now positive why it is positive means let us assume three electrons are coming here outside the atom remaining only two electrons are there p is same protons are same positive charge is more compared to negative charge that's why entire atom is called positive uh, atom or positive ion here because of this uh, striking of this electron positive ions are coming and free electrons are coming so this process is called ionization we are using this ionization process in the ionization gauge as the working principle ionization means it is a process of knocking off or removing the electrons from an atom and thus producing free electrons and positive ions okay yeah, this process is called ionization it is a working principle in our ionization gauge okay in this gauge it is a working principle so here see the description of this ionization gauge in this description this circuit we are seeing this is called ionization gauge in it we are using cathode which is negatively charged and for giving the power supply to this so we are um, taking here and this is the adjustable resistance we can call it as resistor because of this we can find how much current we are supplying for the cathode one is cathode negatively charged one is grid here this is positively charged okay and then one is anode plate it is negative bias we are giving the negative voltage to it we will see in the operation working operation how why we are giving the negative for the anode plate now here these three are in the transparent glass tube so it is one side is open here through which we are supplying the gas of unknown pressure whatever pressure we want to find of the gas we are supplying that gas inside this these green are the gas particles okay now here there are two ammeters connected to the circuit this ammeter will find the current here and uh, this ammeter will find the current in this circuit okay let us see the operation of this ionization gauge now operation of this gauge here we are giving the supply okay now we are supplying the gas also of unknown pressure inside the glass tube because of the current supply at cathode electrons are coming from the cathode those are negatively charged 
so negative charge is attracted by the grid here this is the grid plate okay so these electrons are attracted to this grid so whatever gas particles are there okay so those particles are striking the these electrons we are supplying the electrons from the cathode by heating this plate okay these are highly energy electrons will develop those electrons will strike the atoms or particles of the gas okay so because of it high energy electrons striking the atoms positive ions and free electrons will develop inside this chamber so how it is coming means already i told you in this example whenever electrons are striking this atom positive ions and free electrons will develop similarly these two will come here in this tube so positive ions and free electrons whatever free electrons are there inside this these electrons are attracted by this grid because it is positive grid and whatever positive ions are coming these are coming to the anode plate but anode plate we are not giving positive it is negative bias okay so positive ions are attracted by the negative bias here negative plate here anode plate so these positive ions will going into this circuit like this the current will developed because of the positive ions that current we are call it as ip current with positive ions okay that current we can measure by using this ammeter here this current will decide how much pressure of this gas by using the calibrated scale if this current is more the pressure applied pressure is also more these are linearly linear proportionality between p and ip okay if it is less ip value is less the pressure inside this is also very less because of uh, this gas okay so like that we can find the p value by using the current because of positive ions okay the grid current whatever electrons are coming these are coming like this so this grid current we can find by using this ammeter okay we can call it as ig because current developed because of grid this grid will take all the free electrons into this cable okay so this is the main working operation of this ionization gauge now finally this uh, current of because of ion will decide the p value for each and every gas there is a separate calibrated scale okay so this is the main operation of this ionization gauge let us see the applications as i told previously they are used to measure low vacuum pressure and then ultra high vacuum pressure effectively here uh, the advantages are it is very sensitive and giving very correct values and a fast response whenever gas is entering it will give the current value because of current we can find the p value response is good and the measurement can done from a long distance we can supply the gas so from long distance and we can keep the ammeter in different room the entire circuit is in another room like that we can keep at long done from a distance long distance and the limitations are the filament whatever we are using okay it will burn and uh, quickly here disadvantages or limitations of this is this filament will burn frequently because we are uh, giving we are heating this filament at a different uh, uh, temperature by giving the different current and then because we are sending the gas into it because of the filament temperature the gas will decompose okay so it is the main uh, disadvantage of this and for different gases we have to prepare different uh, calibrated scale it is also the one of the disadvantage of this gauge if you like this video please subscribe my channel and share with your friends thank you for watching